Welcome back live in Las Vegas, and you want all your NASCAR experience to last all week. Make sure your cable system carries the new Speed Channel, home of NASCAR TV. The old Speed Vision is now the Speed Channel, home for NASCAR all the, all the time. Call your local cable operator or satellite provider for the Speed Channel. With Jeff Hamill, there's uh, Ryan Newman, and you see Sterling Marlin just uh, taking the lead right there in his uh, Dodge. And I'm going to make the point, uh, Jeff, that last year we had five GM cars in the top ten when this race ended. GM led 70 of the uh, 267 laps here last year, but none today, and only one currently in the top ten. What's the problem with that? Well, that's kind of hard to say, but I think Daryl brought it up earlier in the broadcast, talking about the Dodges. They've got had a little bit of a rule adjustment since the last time we are here at Vegas uh, a year ago. Sterling Marlin, he finished third, led about 36 laps. Today, to me, starting way back there in 24th, he's now taking the lead, looking pretty strong. And the 88 move is uh, the 88 car, Dale Jarrett, on the move from starting way back in the beginning of this race. Uh, yes, and I've, I've been kind of surprised about the whole Robert Yates operation, but especially Dale Jarrett. I mean, they made some changes in the offseason, really thought they were going to be a force to reckon with, with adding on cr the crew chief right now, Jimmy Elledge, but they've really struggled, I think, getting their communication going, but maybe today it's starting to come together. And you saw the uh, graphic illustrating how Dale Jarrett has moved up after starting at 37 to finish uh, second in this race last year to Jeff Gordon. Let's go back, if we could, uh, to Sterling Marlin, who is the leader with Ryan Newman, and the youth versus experience in 10 races. This is the 11th for Ryan Newman on the Winston Cup. He has no wins, but eight career wins uh, in 541 races for uh, Sterling Marlin, and certainly uh, is one who knows how to stay in a points race, and he's illustrated that so far this season. He has, and I, I think that's one of the things that everybody's been really watching to see how this team was going to come out this year. They were so good last year, especially since, you know, Chip Ganassi has uh, been a partnership up with uh, Felix Sabatis and that group. They've done a remarkable job as far as being very consistent. This car here could be a dark horse this year when you talk about the Winston Cup Championship. All right, let's go back upstairs to Darrell Walter, Larry McReynolds, and Mike Jordan. Well, isn't this the time of the season where if you can run that car up front and keep it up front, let the points take care of themselves right now. I usually drove pretty hard this time of year because that 90-day note I made back there in <laughs> December is just about due. It's time to step up and go, man. Our pole sitter, Todd Bodine, trying to stay on the lead lap as you look back from Sterling Marlin. And Marlin's going to put Bodine, who got caught off sequence in that caution flag in the midst of pit stops. Bodine's going to go a lap down. And, that, you know, there could be a deal being made right there. I'm not sure, but... Uh, Sterling says, you know, let me get by, don't hold me up. Caution comes out and you're anywhere near and I can help you out, I will. I tell you a guy that just moved into the top ten, I've been watching a little bit here. He started back in 29th, Kenny Schrader in the 36th car, and he's actually battling Dave Blaney now for ninth. Kenny started in the 29th position. I talked to Kenny this morning. He said, Larry, my car's driving good. He has had a good race car every race this year. He has had absolutely no luck. He was involved in the big wreck at Daytona, had the engine problem with just a handful of laps to go, which started the fiasco at Rockingham. Yes. He just had no luck, but he's uh, he's going forward today. I like his crew chief, Newt Moore. He's from uh, old Nashville boy. Used to run at the fairgrounds, and uh, sharp kid. He and Kenny seem to really be getting along well. Schrader passed Blaney. That's for ninth place. Chris mentioned two GM cars in the top ten. They're both Pontiacs, Tony Stewart and Schrader. Look how much Tony Stewart beat Ryan Newman right there. You saw Ryan Newman look like he jumped in the throttle. <laughs> the car just took off. He had to back off the gas. Looked like Tony Stewart had 50 more horsepower than he had. <laughs> if you've got to squeeze up out of that throttle and the other guy doesn't, you know what I say about that. For more on Ryan Newman, here's Matt. Well, Mike, an update on the 12. He, he says his car is tight and he wants to push up off the corner, but he says the car is extremely tight off of turn four. And, and right there, there it is, off turn four. That's where he's given up all of the time, Tony Stewart. And see, that turn is different than turn one and two. One and two is a little sharper turn, if you, if you let me use that expression. You're just hooking hard all the way around one and two. Off of three, you go into three, it's tight. Then you come into the big D part of the racetrack as you exit turn four, carrying a lot of speed, and you can actually get that nose picked up a little bit and cause the car to push right out, about hit that wall. D DW, how about your man you picked back here? Jeff Burton started in 39th, made those early stop under caution on lap 10, and he's up here to 16th position right now. Yeah, well, actually, you know, that, that staying out hurt him because he had to come in and he got caught up at the back of the restart there, but he's doing a good job. I, can't, I think he's all right. 
He's second among the no-bull drivers, Tony Stewart, in second place. I think Stewart's going to be the guy to watch today, guys, because he wants that million dollars. He'd like to win one of those bonuses. He'd like to be the first driver not named Jeff or Dale to claim that <laughs> bonus. <laughs> yeah, that would be important. 113 laps have been completed. We might be as few as 10 laps away from the next round of pit stops. We'll be back. This is NASCAR on Fox. Greg, this one you gotta oh. see. Oh. Oh. That's Leslie's first bath. <laughs> Look at that little tushy. That's, that's her little tushy, all right. <laughs> that cute little tushy that belongs to such an attractive, beautiful woman. <laughs> Because it's grown up into something else. Nice, big, round, tushy. You know, have you seen it? Have you seen it lately? You know. Is dinner coming soon, or is it... What are you guys doing? Well, uh, uh, we got these NASCAR DQ 